good morning in today's session we'll study about toroid and how to find out the total magnetic field due to a toroid first of all what is a toroid do you know what is a solenoid so if you bend a solenoid to form a closed loop then we can call it as a toroid so as shown in this figure a solenoid bent into the form of a closed loop is called a toroid a solenoid bent into the form of closed loop is called toroid called a toroid now here in this figure you can also mark the current direction let us say the current enters this point and comes out at the other end so current enters here and it comes out at the other end now the same figure is also shown here and to find out the magnetic field inside the toroid you have to apply the right hand thumb rule by applying right hand thumb rule for circular loop one can find that the magnetic field inside the toroid if you assume this current direction it will be in the clockwise direction as shown in the figure now we'll take a cross section of the toroid to find out the total magnetic field so we'll be finding out the magnetic field in three regions once inside the toroid in the open space another one at any point inside the toroid and another one outside the toroid so we'll have three cases to find out the magnetic field now for that what we do is we'll take a cross section and then we will apply ampere's circuital law now in this case as the current enters this point at this end so all the point inside the toroid here i can mark it as cos because current enters or you know current goes into the plane of the paper so all this point for me here i have marked it as cross the other end wherein the current appears to come out of these ends so they are all of dot type so those things are marked with a dot so the cross section when you mark take it right so inside if it is of cross type then outside it will be a dot current so once you mark this we we will try to find out the magnetic field inside the toroid and inside the open space of the toroid and outside the toroid we will take these cases one by one first we will consider the first case that is case 1 <coughs> magnetic field inside the toroid inside the toroid so let us say the current you know here we can mark we have already marked the current as i so the current entering one end is i and let the toroid has solenoid uh, the toroid has n number of turns let n is the number of turns in the toroid total number of turns now let magnetic field inside the toroid at any point at a distance r from it is let the magnetic field inside the toroid is b okay as shown in this figure see magnetic b so b at each point is tangential and if you take the total b it will be in the clockwise direction now to apply uh, so we are finding out magnetic field let us say at a distance r from the center of the 
toroid. So let us say we need to find out magnetic field at this point which is at a distance r from the center of the toroid. Now assume that the magnetic field at this point is B. Now to apply Amperean circuital law what you do is to apply Ampere's circuital law find consider an Amperean loop. So this is loop 1. Consider the Amperean loop 1. Now apply Ampere's circuital law. So what do you get? Now applying Ampere circuital law, we know that closed integral of B dot DL is mu naught into the current threading the loop. Now first we have to find out what is the current threading the loop, i.e. i.e. is the current threading this loop. Now consider the loop 1, the current threading the loop or current which lies inside this loop is all these cross currents. So we have consider a number of turns and I is the current in each turn. So this current is I, the current going inside this is I, I, I. So we have to do I plus I plus I n times. For example, if this current is 2 ampere, then the total current threading this loop will be 2 plus 2, that is 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 2, etc. n times. So the total current threading this loop will be n into i because n is the total number of turns and i is the current in each loop or each turn. So you can write a note, note. Freud has n turns. Each carrying current I. Therefore, total current. Therefore, total current threading the loop one. one is n into i and now b and d l are in the same direction so that dot goes so we can directly write as thus closed integral of b d l closed integral of b to d l as mu naught into n into i or this can be written as closed integral b i can take it out dl is mu naught into n i so now the total closed integral of dl will give you the circumference of that uh, loop that is 2 pi r r is the radius of the loop therefore this will be equal to b into 2 pi r equal to mu naught n i or we can write B is equal to mu naught n into i divided by 2 pi r. This gives the magnetic field, magnitude of the magnetic field inside the toroid which is mu naught n into i by 2 pi r. r is the point or the distance from the center of the toroid to the point where we are finding magnetic field and i is the current in each turn and n is the total number of turns. Now this is the magnetic field inside the toroid. At any point at a distance r is given by mu naught n i by 2 pi r. Now as I said we have three different cases. So we found what is the magnetic field inside the toroid. Now we will find out in the open space inside the toroid at this point what is the magnetic field so we'll consider case 2 
case 2. Magnetic field Magnetic field inside the open space interior of the toroid. Toroid. Now we are considering magnetic field some at this at this point. So let us say R is the radius of this Amperian loop. So when you are considering inside, consider an Amperian loop which encloses that point. Now when you consider this Amperian loop, so let us say this is loop 2. So we are very clear from this figure that there is no current threading this loop or inside this loop the current is 0, there is no current, all the currents are you know or the toroid itself is lies out there this this point so no current threads loop 2 no current threads loop 2 loop 2 and this loop 2 actually lies inside the open space of the toroid so by applying Amperian circuital loop law, B dot DL as mu naught into IE, the current enclosed. So IE is 0. So this term, right hand term will become 0 or it gives B is 0. So what we can conclude is the magnetic field inside the toroid in the open space, interior of the toroid is 0. Now we have the last case that is case 3 where we are going to find out the magnetic field in the open space exterior of the toroid that we will take up in the next session.